Hi everyone, this is Aki with another keynote video going over how to add music to your presentation slides. I'll show you how to do it if you wanted the same kind of music through the whole presentation or if you want to maybe have different tracks across different slides and how to customize it and so on. Uh, before we do, I want to show you where I get most of my music. So you want to make sure you have music that you have rights to. Uh, in your presentation and your YouTube videos and so on. So actually YouTube has this audio library and I use it all the time to find free music and I'll uh, put the link in the notes but it's so easy to search so I um, usually you can use this filter and I like to search by mood so I like to have happy music from my um, YouTube videos and then you can maybe even add um, genre like I like maybe pop or dance music and you know once you you know you you uh, have your filter you can just test it out by clicking each of them and if you like it I like to add a star so later on I have it in my starred library or the ones that I kind of went through already because there's so much so you want to make sure like you know if you did all this research it's safe there and once you like something you just click this download on the right and it saves it to your download folder and then you have the music so since we have music already and i actually downloaded a couple of um, mp3s right here that we're going to be using i have this slide presentation that i'm going to use it as an example to show you where to go so i have this slide presentation about 43 slides and i want to add background music because maybe it's going to be self-playing or maybe it's going to be like just slight music in the background while I'm going over the presentation or what have you. To get to your audio where you put the audio for your presentation, if you go to the top of the ribbon, click on document and audio. And right now it shows you that I have no music there. Um, once you know you, if you like any music, you can just drag it and drop it in the soundtrack area. And right now it's there. But if I play my presentation and I'm going to click play and I also want to show you that you see it's just playing in my window. So when I play, when I go to my icon um, to the menu at the top, I like to play in window instead of in full screen so I can work on anything else I need on my computer. So anyway, I'm going to play it and it's quiet. The music is not playing. The reason why is because when you go and you select the track, you see that it says off. So it's turned off. It's not, it's there. You have the music there in case you want to change your mind or what have you. Um, I'm going to, if you say play once, you have to check how long is your track. So this one is like two minutes and three seconds. I mean, 43 slides, that would be very fast slideshow. So you probably want to use like loop. So if you loop it, if it ends, you will start over again. Now you also can control the volume here. So like you don't want to be, you know, if you're going to be talking and playing the music, you want to make sure the volume is low so people can hear you. But, um, you know, if it's just the music itself, maybe you want it louder. So I'm going to keep it this way, make it loop and let me see what happens if I click play. And you can hear the music and it goes across all my slides. So that works fine. Now, what about, let's say, if you want to play different music across different slides. So let's say we're going to select like having two slides, um, you know, with one track and then may, maybe three slides with one track and then two slides with another track. So the way to do it, Oh, one more thing I want to show you in case like you want to delete this track, you don't no longer want it. You just select it. So it's blue and click delete. So it's gone. Now I have these two tracks that I'm going to play one of them at the beginning on the first three slides. So what you do is you take it and you drag it and drop it over the slide. So once you select this, so I'll show you also the best practices before I actually will copy it over on the other uh, two slides, I'm going to go through the settings. So to select the track, I'm going to like kind of like um, slightly click on the border because if you click this way, it plays the music. So you have to be like very subtle to, to select it. So I'm selecting it. And once you do, you actually go to format at the top of your ribbon and now you have audio. 
So it's only, you know, if you have an audio track, you will have these options for format audio. So here you can replace the audio, you can play it, um, you can um, lower the volume. So I'm going to lower it since we're doing this um, recording so I can talk over the music. Um, now you can also trim the music, so make it shorter. <clears throat> now I want to mention one thing, that if you're going to try to play the same track across three slides and you trim once uh, the, the track on one slide but not the other, it won't work. So you have to have the same type of music across a couple of slides to, to play it across those slides. So if I trim it here and then I copy this track over to the other slide, that's fine. So I'm just going to trim it. And now you have an option to either repeat it. If you, if it's very short and you just have a couple of slides, you probably don't need it. But if the track is few seconds, you might want to loop it. So you can loop. Um, and then also you want to check display audio across slides if you want to play it across the slides. Now, so I'm going to actually now select this, make command copy, go to next slide, paste. Control V, paste. So now let's see how this works. I'm going to play and check this out. Okay, it's quiet. Oh, now it started playing. And next slide. Okay, it's playing. So what happens is actually, let's select the audio and now click on the animate at the top and click build order. And I also see the order right here. So what it's saying that the order for the music to start is actually after the title comes. So you have to either you can drag it and position it front or you can just change the build order right here. You see, you can change it this way or you can just drag it. Now, you also have this option to say, do you want to play it on click? So the music starts when you cl start clicking, like you click to next slide or um, for the uh, presentation to start or you want to just after the transition to start playing. So I'm going to say after transition and I'm going to add for the first three we have the first track and for the fourth and fifth I'm going to add a new track and again I'm going to format it. I'm going to say not start on click but after transition so you can also control it right here. I want to play audio across slides, loop it medium volume and I'm going to copy this and paste on the second slide. One more thing that we have to make sure we also want to check what's the build order for this track. Right now I see it's fifth so if I click on build order oh my gosh it just it will start playing at the very end of the build order on this slide so I want to you know drag it to front and want to make sure that it's after transition, it's not on click, if that's what I want. And actually, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to copy this to my other slide so I don't have to redo it manually. So let's see how this works. The first slide, the first track, and the second slide. We still have the music, the same music is continuing. And then the third one, still continuing playing. And now we should have a switch. So now we change the track, right? So this is a fourth slide. Yep, and we have it. And it's at the beginning because we did the build order. So it's first, so it comes in after the transition. And it's continuing to the fifth slide. And we have still the music, but it should end and we should have nothing on a sixth one. And exactly that's what happened. So this is the way to do it now. If you want to um, remove it, you just take the music, you know, from any of the slides, take it and delete it, and you can add other tracks as you like. So hopefully this helped you learn how to add music to different slides or to the whole presentation. Thanks so much for watching.